Hi everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to walk through installing a Tenable Nessus agent on a Windows Server machine. So to get started, go to downloads.tenable.com, find the Tenable Nessus agent section, and click View Downloads. We support Linux, Windows, and Mac systems. Simply scroll down and find the package appropriate for the system that you're installing on. I've already downloaded the agent, so I'm not going to do that again. But once you have the agent downloaded, double click it to install. You'll be brought to a typical setup wizard. Click next. Accept the license agreement. Click next. Optionally, you can change the installation directory if you need to. Click next. We'll do a typical installation today and we'll be asked for a few pieces of information. The first thing we'll be asked for is our linking key. That can be found in Tenable Vulnerability Management by selecting your main menu, going to Settings, scroll down to Sensors, select your Nessus Agents section, and select the Add Nessus Agent button in the upper right hand corner. A window will fly out from the right, simply Copy your linking key and paste it into the field and setup. The server will be cloud.tenable.com colon 443. Optionally, you can automatically add your agent to an agent group. Agents must be a part of an agent group so that they can be scanned. I've set up a demo group for this example, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to that group automatically. Click Next and click Install. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. And back in our Tenable Vulnerability Management interface, if I refresh this page, You can see our new agent has been installed and linked. Now it's showing up as offline right now because it's still doing a couple of setup tasks. You'll also see that it has been automatically added to our demo group. And that's all there is to installing a Nessus agent on a Windows machine. This can also be automated via command line or you can use any software deployment mechanism that you may have in your environment, such as SCCM or group policy. Be sure to check back soon for more tips and tricks in Tenable Vulnerability Management and Tenable One.